Look how I'm positioned right here. I'm in between the lines. There's probably their midfield line, there's their back line, and look at that, I'm in this space positioned well. What's going on Team Twitty? I hope you're all super well back with the game analysis. If you guys don't know what this is, I basically go through my game from the weekend, analyze it, go through the key points. I try and keep it pretty much unedited and I share with you my thoughts, what I was going to do, what I did in the game, why I did it, what I should have done better, all of that sort of stuff. So let's get right into it. I don't want to hold you guys too long, but I want you to learn. So th this game, mostly I was playing as an attacking mid. If you guys are new, don't forget, go down below, click that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. But getting right into it, kickoff, I nearly intercepted that one. And then I received this ball here. I don't think there's much to say. What I will say here though, I'll just go through this slowly. So I receive it and I check my shoulder. So as I've received it, check my shoulder there and I get my foot and that little touch there to get it away allows me to get pushed and I fall over because it's a foul. I'm not going to try and stay up for no reason. He pushed me over, I get the foul. Ball here, I look to make my run in behind and he plays me the ball, I look up. This was very early on and I take a shot. Now if we take this back, at this point here I should have been aware, actually this point right there, as soon there I should be aware checking my shoulders so that I can see all of that. Right now, all I can see is bang and bang. So I don't know about these two guys who are pushing up as well. If we play it, let's take a look here. If we stop it there, if I take one extra touch towards this guy and he will come closer to me, the defender, I can then look to play to this guy. Let me just move my phone. That's out of the way now. And then this guy can go, he might dribble here and we're in a 3v2, I can join in as well. It's just a better option. So need to be aware of my surroundings. Yes, the deflection, we get a corner so it's not too bad. We just could have ended up with possibly something better. Look to make my run in behind here, receive it. And when the run doesn't happen, look to receive the ball to feet. And we do a nice bit of play. Unfortunate that we lose it. Now, take a look at this. So I know what I want to do here. I, okay, let me explain. I've spoken about this so many times. Hold the ball and we'll see it later on. I don't actually follow my own advice, but hold the ball until you need to pass it. So I receive this ball. I go to take it down the line, cut back. Now I've dragged, if we play it just before I passed it, I've dragged, I didn't want to press that one, I've dragged this guy a bit closer, that guy a bit closer, and now I can play into our midfielder who's the free man. So there's, you need to think, try and drag these players closer to give your teammates more time and space on the ball. If you just play it quickly for no reason, there's a great example a little bit later on, and shortly as well. Uh, it doesn't lead to very good things. So a bit of pressure there, working hard, sprinting. I wasn't even the person that lost the ball, but it was the space I could get to. I'm pretty fit, so I can uh, get that ball. Receive it, and this is a nice little turn. Play the ball and stop there. So, yes, this guy, you can see that he moves away and it gets intercepted. I'm not worried about that right now. Like, yes, it happened to the game, but right here, again, have a look at how free our number 12 is. So much space. And it's such an easy thing for me to do. All I need to do is one more touch in there, get out this way, and then play to him. So I need to be aware that there's this space in the middle. And when should I be aware of that? That's something that's interesting. Right now, as I'm receiving th the throw, I should be checking my shoulder and seeing all of that. Right now, all I'm really seeing is that and that. And it's interesting because I really haven't had a problem in the past with checking my shoulder. Maybe the speed of the game is a little bit quicker and I need to just catch up with that. Try to win it back. I do get my foot in the ball. If that guy came in a little bit closer and we hustled together as a team, we would have, we would have won that, I reckon. Here, working off my number nine. Nice little La Croqueta and unfortunate that he loses it. That was the end of the play, so I'll play it from here. Just working off, I'm not receiving that throw and it's a chip over his foot and move it down the line. So this is a move that can be used extremely well. If you see a player jumping in, 
a little chip over the foot there you can see works amazingly because if I do that on the ground he tackles me I lose the ball but a chip over the foot it's like that's his knee this is his foot and it's a chip over this area there look to do it in your next training session and give it a go ball goes forward we intercept and I look for another run in behind perfectly on side unfortunately the ball was a little bit too hard you can see so important for strikers attacking mids wingers time your runs I'm timing this, I'm timing it, and look how I bend it there, because I know that I might be offside with the guy behind me, and as he's kicked it, which is at this point right there, I'm onside, perfect run. If this ball's with a bit more backspin, I'm in perfect line. Unfortunate that it goes a little bit too far. So, you know, I feel like that's one of my good assets, maintaining an onside run in behind. Ball goes up. Again, I'm a small guy. I'm not going to head of this. Like, there's no chance in the world. But we'll take it back. A little bit of hustle, and that should be the end of the clip. So if we go back, what is important here? The ball comes up. I almost grab this guy by the arm. You can kind of see, and drag him away. He probably could have gone down and won a foul, but look at where the ref is. He's not in the best position to see it. So by dragging him away... It leaves a bouncing ball there to then go there. And as a defender, for you defenders out there, I know you hate bouncing balls. So if I'm not going to win the header, I'm not going to let this guy win the header either. Or I'm going to make sure that his header is going to go this way or that way or that way. It's not going to go back there. I'm not going to give him an easy chance to head the ball. So with that, ball comes and then I look to support again. Get stuck under my feet, but again, just hustling. Not much to say on that. Just a little bit of hustle and bustle. Now this is the one where I pass the ball with no reason to. Good combination play, perfect. And ball goes in behind and out. Now, if we take a look here, I pass this first time. Have a look at this. What if I were to take a couple of touches in here? This guy's gonna come to me. This guy's gonna be worried. You can just see his hand there. He's gonna be worried about this guy here. This guy might come to me. This guy's gonna step in and now now I'm here, right? I can play this ball in behind there. My right back can go through, and then he's through with the ball on the ground. And he's going to have a lot more time and space to go forward with it. But unfortunately, I decide, let's kick it straight away. So, yeah, bad decision. Just need a, there's no need to pass if there's nobody on you. But this is a much better example. Dribble, 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 play, and then in behind. Now, if we take this back... This is the crucial moment. Right here, I dribble, and I see this centre-back step up, and I play it around the corner and get in behind him. Now, that allows me to then have a look at this defensive line and go, okay, I need to get in behind. Unfortunately, our striker fell over, but this guy also kind of took me out. Have a look at He just blocks me for no reason, and he falls over. Strength, man. All strength from me. We play out. Positioning myself well there. Look, I can position there and I pick up the ball. That's great positioning. And then play the ball in behind. Our left back can go through. This is good play. What can I say on this? I mean, if we take it back, it's literally just supporting the number nine again. Making sure that I can be there as an option. And if we take this back just a little bit further, look how I'm positioned. It's going to be a little bit blurry. Look how I'm positioned right here. I'm in between the lines. There's probably their midfield line, there's their back line, and look at that, I'm in this space, positioned well. Play, go. <laughs> so great little drop off, in behind. And I drive, this time I see him an option, I see the left back going, I go, okay, I gotta get it out there to create a 2v1 quickly. So that's a time where I'm not waiting until someone's pressured me, I'm going, I need to get this quick so we can exploit this. Good, checking my shoulder. Look how many times I've checked it. Let's count. If we go back. So this ball picks up one check because I think I'm an option. I check the other way. Two checks. Three checks because I'm still thinking I'm a great option. Have a look. If this guy takes one touch here quickly onto his right foot and in, I can dribble play this guy in behind. Brilliant positioning. Unfortunate that it doesn't come. What's that? Three checks we're on. And then we're, we should get a fourth one, a fourth check. And I go, okay, it's not on anymore. And I see... Our striker is now there, and I see this guy stepped up a little bit. So I go, okay, 
I need to assume the role of the striker. I'm sorry, I'm going to take it back so you guys can see the whole thing in motion. So you can kind of live it. Check, 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 check. And then C. Now I make this run in behind good speed. Look at that acceleration. That's all from Clayton. I really want to get a shot off there. Doesn't work out. Play him. Uh, I want to stop this here because we have another segment with this. So I'm looking to get a little bit of space on my right foot. And I know that I have this number four right here coming this way. So I can't really turn back there and have a left foot shot. And he, I think this defender knows that I want to get a right foot shot in. Which, you know, that's what defenders are there to do. Stop you from shooting. And here, we've spoken about this before. Yes, my player should be up here making a run in behind. Because imagine, imagine our winger was here making a run there. Now I can ship this one in behind there. He's going to be through and goal. But he's not, so I help his positioning by forcing him into this area. It's not that far. But I force him higher up the field by playing it way out in front of him. He, look, that's a great 1v1 opportunity. Defender does well to stand him up. I would have liked to see a bit more bang, because I know he can do it. And then we have to reset from there. Ball goes up. Oh, this is not much. Guy just pushes me. Not much to say there. I'll skip through this. <laughs> this is a bit of defense work. People say to me, Sheldon, how do I get defense work? I'm looking at the guy's eyes. I've said this in a game analysis before, right here. I know that this guy's an option, but I'm also looking at this guy's eyes. Where's he looking? Where's he looking to play the ball? And that will determine where I press. But it's also just getting in there and getting stuck in. And push, the, push this guy again, win it. And then we get the throw in. Oh, oh, I need to close that. That's no good. That may come up again. This is another op example where I pass it way too quickly. Way too quickly. So, and then they get to keep the ball. So here, I pass it at this very moment. Imagine, this guy's no matter what, is gonna keep running with him. I could either pass in there, that's a good option, but what I would prefer to see me do is dribble in here, because this, like I said, this guy's gonna go, I dribble in here, now I'm dribble here, and I'm forward, maybe create a 2v1, just dribble with the ball if there's, you know, there's no need to pass. I didn't have anyone pressuring me. And with that poor pass, leads to nothing. That was very poor. And then again, this is the same sort of thing. I think this is the last clip. So I really wanted this one straight to me. I was going to have a shot. It comes to me and I rush it. No reason whatsoever. We'll take it back. Have a look. I so I wanted to receive the pass straight from this guy. Doesn't happen. And I pick it up here. Not checking my shoulder again. And I'm unaware. I see runners in behind. And you know what? It's not such a bad ball, but there's not space in behind. There's just not. What could I do differently here? hold the ball, stand still, and see what happens. If I stand still, players are gonna move. This guy's gonna go there, this one's going there, this one's running in behind, this one's running in behind. Look at these defenders, one, two, three. Bang, that could be the ball for our fullback to go forward. Those are the sorts of things, if I just stand still on the ball and wait for someone to pressure me, but poor decision, very, very poor. What do we learn? Man, don't rush, don't pass if I don't have to. Dribble that ball. And don't be afraid to, you know, take a player or two on. And I'll be back to my best. So, hope you guys also learned something from it. 1020, I'm signing out. Make sure you like and subscribe. And enjoy the journey. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.